happening. Today we're going to be talking about using our AWS S3 image storage, and that's going to be really cool. If you're just joining us now, you can go ahead to the link in the description, which is this repo here. It's called AngularJS Client Side Image Compression and Upload to AWS S3. And this is a really nice thing because it actually gives you the full tutorial on obtaining your S3 keys on that's a YouTube video I found by this guy. I think his name is Keith. Okay, so he's awesome. And this is how you build your your actual um, your file. And I actually put down everything here, the principle. You have the post east asset. This is going to be the name of your um, <clears throat> the name of your bucket and so on. And this is the exact syntax in order for everything to be public. Let's say you actually go into the app, you're gonna go here. Right, and as you can see, every time you upload something, it automatically uh, creates a link. Uh, the link is created by S3, and we just fetch that link within the client side of the app. So let's do another example. I'm going to upload, let's say, a picture from one of our other projects, from our project. Image. Okay, awesome. Oh, this is pretty funny. This is a great one, Calvin and Hobbes. One of my really favorites. Okay, and there you go. Wow, you've achieved a compression of 2.57. Most of the time it's much better, actually. See, the width and height was really short anyway, so that's okay. But anyways, it also goes into our S3 bucket. And let's check over here. Mailer time, Amazon S3. And let's see here. Open. Oh, wrong thing. Let's go back. I was on S3. And I'm going to go to mail that time. I want to delete these elastic green stocks. Man, what happened here? What? I don't understand. Maybe there was an error while uploading the photo, in which case we do need to fix that. Uh, let's try this again. Add another image. So you choose a file. Like this guy. Jack Black. We even have a link here, so it must be working. I don't know why. Open image in a new tab. Okay. Open image in a new tab. And this is where it's going to, as you can see, S3-EU Central 1. That's the, the region of the AWS S3 server. That's the name of the project, and that's the name of the, of the photo. So it is getting uploaded. I'm going to check back here, Control-R, see what happens. Hmm. It's very strange. Anyways, what we're going to do within the application is every time that a user uploads a photo, we're going to be saving that specific link due to the fact that Amazon creates these awesome links for you. And there we go. We have all the images finally getting uploaded. Sorry, guys, it's not the first or the second one. It's actually the first, second and third. Okay, I'll open this, and I will, ah, oh man. There's that. There's the Covenant and Hobbs. I used to hate writing assignments, but now I enjoy them. I realize that the purpose of writing is to inflate weak ideas, obscure poor reasoning, and inhibit clarity. Inflate weak ideas. Awesome. Calvin and Hobbes. And finally, the last one. Open. Ah, Jack Black. Okay, good. So that's everything. And that's the project that we're going to need to move into our existing application. Okay, it's actually got a really nice feel to it. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to show you the passwords, but that's everything. Okay, and it's a compression plus the actual upload, and it's absolutely great. What happens if I click remove image? Let's see if the image will still be available. Hmm. Oh, it removed the image, it removed the tab. Let's see here if it's, if I reload, did anything get deleted? Probably not. No, nope, nothing gets deleted, it just gets removed in the UI. Good, so we're gonna cover a little of the code in the next video and talk about how to integrate it into our main project. If you uh, appreciate this video, feel free to give it a like and check out the live startup series for more uh, help, helpful tutorial videos.